Hey folks, this week we're going to implement a simple QR code scanner in our web app. So the app is going to look something like this. We have an empty video screen here where we can start video capture and then we can open up a QR code and when we point the reader towards the code we can see the URL in this case that's encoded in it. So let's go ahead and open up our editor and build this. For the actual QR code scanning, we're going to use this QR scanner library. And I've already gone ahead and installed it in my project using NPM. The project itself is a lit based Wadden Fusion project. So we're using lit here for the front end. And we have a webpack build that runs, uh, runs the front end build. We're also using TypeScript, but everything here should work just, as, just the same if you're using plain JavaScript. All right, so if we look at what we have right now, I'll uh, make this a little bit smaller. You can see we have the text hello here, and that's coming from the template that we have here. Now, the first thing that we need to do to use the QR scanner library is import it. So we're going to import the QR scanner from QR scanner. And then what we need to do next is we need to import a uh, worker. So the QR scanner. Uh, has this separate worker file that it loads on clients that don't have native support for barcode scanning in the browser. So by having this in a separate uh, JS file, it's able to only load it if you actually need it. So for those who have a, a modern browser with support, they don't need to incur the extra cost of, of loading this. So we're using the file loader, webpack loader here to load this JavaScript file into our dist folder. And I'm using tsignore here because it would otherwise complain about this. All right, so then let's go ahead and scaffold out our template. And the first thing that we want is a video element. And the video element, if you remember, uh, had a little bit of a shadow and rounded corner. So we're going to use some of these same bottom utility CSS classes for for that. So we're going to do a video with rounded, small, and shadow medium like this. It doesn't need to have a source, but what it needs to have is an ID so that we can get a hold of, of the element. So we're going to call this video source like this. Then we're also going to have a button 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 that we can use for, for toggling. We're going to get back to the button here in, in just a moment. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. Make sure that we have everything working. And yep, here we go. So we have uh, rounded video element here with a little bit of shadow and a empty button right here. Added some styles for it right here. So just giving it a max width. So it's not overly, overly big here. All right. So we've imported the QR scanner. So the next thing that we need to do is initialize it. So let's override the first updated callback inlet. And at this point, the template has been stamped. So we have this video element already there. Now we need a uh, actual hold of it. So what we could do is do uh, just a plain uh, query selector. So we could do this dot render root dot query selector. But there's actually a more handy way to do that in let so we can use this query uh, decorator and say that we're we want to get the element with the ID video source. And what we get from there is a video element. And the type here will be HTML video element like this. All right, so now that we have that element and we are here in the first updated callback, the first thing that we need to do is configure this scanner uh, worker path. So we'll do QR scanner dot worker path is equal to this uh, QR scanner worker path that we imported. And with that, we're now ready to initialize our QR scanner. I'm going to create a field here for uh, keeping track of that. So I'm going to call this the QR scanner. And it's optional. And the type will be QR scanner like this. So that allows us to go here and say this dot QR scanner is equal to a new QR scanner. And this takes in two things. So the first will be the video element that we have. And the second one will be a callback that takes in the uh, result whenever it finds a QR code. And 
here we can decide what we want to do with it. And what we're going to do with it is save it into a result. So I'm going to do a state here. So component state, which will, whenever it changes, trigger a re-render. And we're going to call this QR result. And as to start out, it'll just be an empty string. But then when we get a result, we can say this dot uh, QR result is equal to the result like this. Good. All right, so then I want to hook up this button so that we can toggle the, the video off and on. For that, we're going to have another state here for tracking if it's running. And by default, it's not going to be running. So we start with it off. And then we create a method here that we can use for toggling it. So we're going to say toggle scanner. And here, first of all, we're going to say this dot running is equal to the negation of this dot running. So we just toggle it. And then if we have a QR scanner, so if this dot QR scanner, uh, QR scanner, make sure that we actually have one before we start calling anything on it. So if this is running, uh, running, then what we want to do is call this dot QR scanner dot start. Since we already toggled it here, so this is the uh, desired uh, state. And then else we'll call this dot QR scanner dot stop. Like that. All right, so now this state here will contain whether or not we're running it, and we can use that in the button here. So first of all, we'll hook up the click event to call that toggle. So we'll call this dot toggle scanner. And let's arrange this a little bit, make it easier to read. And then we'll actually use one of the built-in theme variants here. So we're going to say that the theme is equal to, and then we can have a, a check here that if this is running, then we'll say error. It'll kind of look red and scary, so people know that <laughs> uh, pressing it will stop, and, and otherwise we'll say primary will be nice and kind of highlighted. And then inside the button, what we'll do is we'll also uh, interpolate here a value. And again, we're checking if this is running. And if it is, we'll say stop. Otherwise, we'll say start like that. And then, of course, we have this result here that we want to display. So here below the button, we'll do a pre tag and in there we'll display the result. So we're just say this dot QR result. All right, go ahead and save. So now we see we have the start button here because our we start up with the running is equal to false. And when we click on this, that click here is uh, hooked up to the toggle scanner, which we'll call QR code scanner.start. And this will ask if we give access to the camera. And sure enough, we'll do that. All right, hello there. And then we'll take a QR code, put it up to the camera. Let's see. Uh, there we go. And there we have a link. I think QR support to your web application has become really easy in the past few years with these new web standards and these high quality libraries. I hope this was a useful video for you. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. And if you have any ideas for new videos that you want me to make, let me know as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.